got a dog, baby, I love her so Nothing else like her anywhere you go A man, she, anything but... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to The Hub. Uh, this episode of The Build, uh, Building The Hub, is going to... It takes place during... Uh, during episode... Oh, what episode was it? I don't remember. Um, episode 85. Yes, it happens during episode 85. So, anyways, if you've watched episode 85, you know that already. <laughs> if you want to watch the episode in which this happens, it's episode 85. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to build Shane's house. And actually not build it from scratch because I originally wanted to put it over here in this nice big open area here but these bushes are in the way and that was originally the problem before I got the scrap everything mod the scrap settlement mod and then when I got it I was like oh cool I can actually get rid of those bushes and finally build the house there but no for some reason these ones um, are not scrappable. I don't understand why. Most of the bushes in this settlement are not scrappable. These ones up here on the hill cannot be scrapped as either. Right here. Um, this one here on the edge of the hill can be. And there was one more over here that, that can be scrapped. Um, not that one. Or Yep. Oh, that one can. And I think this one. Yeah. But those are the only, the only, like, two. For some reason, these ones cannot. And at first I thought it might be my load order, but this mod is at the very, very bottom. There is nothing below it. And so I don't understand why those bushes particularly can't be scrapped. Especially since they aren't any different. They're not a different type of bush from the other ones over there that could be scrapped. So I don't get it. But, yeah, this one can't be either. No, yes, it can. Hmm. But see, like, this one is the exact same model, even, as the one over there. <laughs> so, it's confusing to me. I don't understand why. Um, anyway, if anybody knows, I, would, I wouldn't mind knowing. But, so for now, um... I'm going to turn this, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to turn this, it used to be the guard house, but you know, the guards don't actually need to sleep anywhere because they don't ever leave their posts. They don't come down and go to bed during the night like, you know, they would in the, in the real, in real life. <laughs> they don't take shifts or anything. So they don't really technically need a place to sleep. It was just aesthetic reasons. So... I'm going to redo the this. I'm going to make it a little bigger because I think it's too small for Shane to live in. And the floor plan is a little bit wonky for, you know, a family home. So, yeah. <clears throat> and actually to do that, you know, when I built this house, um, I wasn't able to scrap the, the foundation and the wall piece, the wall corners that... I built this over. This was the original... I mean, it, like, if you watched my previous episode in which I built this house, you know I, I built it inside the existing structure. The ruins of the existing structure. But I couldn't scrap... Even though I had the scrap everything mod, it it wasn't... It didn't have the... the you didn't, still didn't have the ability to scrap this building. That was added after, like, like seriously, three days after I built this thing, it was added. <laughs> so that was funny. But now I'm going to scrap it so that I can extend the house out a little bit. Just a little bit. One square. Far actually, half a square farther because this is one square and then half right here. So I'm going to just extend it out one half more. And yeah, let's do it, right? So, scrap away. Now it makes it so the house is going to be floating because I actually didn't have it down all the way. Not to mention all the junk underneath it. Oh look I can scrap that lantern. <laughs> I couldn't scrap the lantern either when um, 
when I built it originally, the mod didn't allow you to scrap those lanterns, and now it does. So I am just going to take um, everything down. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take... I'm just scrapping those for the... the parts. <laughs> Um, oh, it took so long to get all that in there. <laughs> Remember? Oh, that was horrible. I actually cut out most of my fumbling with it because it was... No, no. It was so long. Actually, that's going to get covered up. So, yes, do store that. And um, I'm going to replace this floor with a foundation so that it'll... It'll uh, not be floating anymore. Okay, I'm going to keep that side of it, and this side I'm going to be re um, extending outwards a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be put. I'm going to use the same foundation I used in there. Um, <clears throat> the stone foundation from the warehouse tab. This one. I'm going to use the same one. So I'm going to put it on here first so I can get the height right and then here let's get rid of all the furniture and okay now I can replace <coughs> there was a rug under why was there a rug under that I don't remember putting a rug there. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, now I can put this in and see that one is a little bit too low because originally the it was butted up against the the original foundation that was there. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> but that's okay. Once I get all this in, it's gonna all fit real nice like and you won't even know because now you can't even tell the it's not flush up against it anymore because I took away the, the thickness of the wall that was there I used to be flush up against it but with all the stuff in front of it you really can't tell anyway so I don't mind all right so now this is going to be the new size of the bottom floor and I think it's going to look much better. It's going to be so much more usable. So I'm going to put the door here instead of having it way over here because I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit detached from the rest of the community if the door was on this side facing nothing, right? So I'm going to put it right here instead. That just seems a little bit more... Oh, wait a minute. I want this door. I'll use this one. Oh, <laughs> that'll happen every once in a while when you select certain items in your inventory, in the, in your build menu, and go at certain angles with them. The texture from the original uh, building wants to come back, but it's just a temporary thing. It'll just flash in and out once in a while. That happens. That's the scrapping mod, and it's, it just does that. The more you scrap, the more it does that. It's just a bug with the scrapping mod, and I don't think it can be fixed, so. That's why you shouldn't scrap large objects, like uh, this tree right here. This tree, you can scrap it, because you can actually build these trees um, with the... Well... I don't know. Can is did the scrapping mod include these trees? I know that the um settle add the settlement objects unlock settlement objects and makes it so you can build these trees. And if you build it, then you can scrap it. Anyway, if you scrapped this tree which has an LOD, you might end up getting some issues. <laughs> That's that tree shouldn't be scrapped. Just just for your information, that would be like scrapping those buildings over there or something like that. And so like this hut that I just scrapped kind of has the same principle, but not as much. Okay. 
see there it goes again but it's just temporary and once i get the house built and i'm not going into my build menu in here anymore then it will not do that anymore so i am going to wait a minute i have an idea for the for this wall and first i'm going to put the ceiling on so I'm going to match the ceiling that's already on there. And uh, let's put this. <clears throat> let's put that there. That's nice. Okay. Um, now I'm going to use this ladder to get up there. Um, I'm going to put <clears throat> um, the barn roof up here so it's I want it to be um, I want it to <clears throat> be slanted like the the other other roof because so that they match and stuff. Just gotta make sure it's straight, which it's not. Okay. I think that's straight now. Yeah. Okay. There, and then put. This and this one back here. There. Now this is a sort of a two-tone house still because the bottom, or the top, is made out of the red barn tab, the red barn wood, and the bottom is going to be made out of junk shack wood. <laughs> So uh, it's kind of interesting there. And actually, I had an idea for this wall. I want to put windows here. But the shack tab doesn't really have windows. It has these silly things. But I want to put some real windows here. And the only real windows we have are the ones from the warehouse tab um, my, in the walls. And you know, these kind, but I actually don't want to use those. I want to use the glass ones. Oh. The mod added a lot of new things. Okay. These. I want to use these, except <clears throat> yeah, it's going to require some glitching to get what I want. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> my throat still isn't completely back to normal. So my voice catches a lot, but Okay, so, uh, what was I going to do? Right, so what I'm going to do, well first, I'm going to use the Unlock Settlement Items mod, added new shack wall pieces, <clears throat> and I am going to use them. So I'm going to put, these don't snap on by the way. But they are pretty forgiving. So I'm going to just put one flush against the wall here. Make sure it's not going into the wall, just touching it. And I'm going to put one on this side as well. And now this... Um, so this is three, three squares long. I'm going to put two windows in the middle instead of windows on the very edge because I think windows on the very edge actually looks a little funny but until recently we haven't been able to do anything else. Uh oh. What is this not going to go in except way back here? Who's that guy? Oh. That's a traitor. 
Oh, goody, we get to have a noisy Brahmin hanging around while I'm doing this. Okay, here we go. Well, hmm. <laughs> okay, I was testing this earlier and it went right in. Of course, of course it did. Um, let's try this. No, it's it's the proximity to that edge for some reason is messing it up. It it works when it's back here. That is quite a ways from the edge though. I don't like that. I wish they snapped. I really do. But these ones don't for some reason. Huh. They don't even snap to each other, I don't think. No. So like I couldn't make a a line of them until it got over here, which is what I would normally do. But uh, 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 uh. Um, let me, let me rotate this. Maybe that'll, I don't know why that would help, but it's worth a try, right? Turn it around. Oh, that, oh, turning it around! <laughs> that worked! Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am. You probably know, though. You probably already know how relieved I am. <laughs> that, that didn't have to take an hour to figure out. Okay. If it doesn't <coughs> go in, just turn it around. <laughs> Alright, just checking to make sure it's straight. And... No, it's not close enough. Okay. Ah, oh, I think I got it crooked again. <laughs> oh, it's pretty close. Probably wouldn't even notice it. Come on. It's it's kind of hard to move these that small of a of a space, yeah. Such minute little adjustments here. No. I probably got it good enough. I don't think I even spent this much time on the other one. I mean, I know I didn't. This isn't actually touching, but it's close enough. Okay. Good. That that looks good. I just need to make sure that they are both the same. Now see this one's sticking out a little bit actually. I, I didn't I didn't double check this one. Okay. You know what? Okay, that's not sticking out far enough. I just I wanted to make sure that they were both the same distance from the edge is what I'm doing here. So that they line up good when I meet the other two walls with them. Because now I need to put the other two walls in. But I'm going to be glitching them in. Oh, and they are right in my glitch area. That means I have to go way over here. Oh well, this is where my post is. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> I'm going to get... Uh, let's find it here. In this massive, massive menu. This. Hmm? And I need to put it on a relatively flat spot. Because I'm going to be using the um, the ashtray to move it. And uh, I don't want it to float. And that's probably good. And now we'll go to the warehouse and get the window. Oh, oh, hey! That's the first time I've ever gotten hungry! With the mod, with the need mod installed. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the window up there and making my own little prefab kind of thing. Not really a prefab, I guess, but I'm going to make my own window piece. My own full length window piece. Okay. Yeah. Right up there. Mm 
And I'm going to lower it down and then push it forward just to see see how it, one side is coming in and one side isn't. One side's sticking out and one side isn't. That means it's not straight. So that's how you can tell if it's straight or not. When the entire thing comes forward out of it at the exact same time, then it's straight. And you can then raise it up to where you want it to go. I'm not sure I'm getting it lined up right, though. It's sticking out a little bit, but you know what? Windows... Windows can do that. Windows can do that. That will be the outside. And it will look fine. It'll be flush on the inside. The window is actually uh, wider than the... I don't know. It's actually not sitting straight on it. But it kind of gives it a little window sill. So I'm good with it. If you're building it, of course, and you don't like that, you can always just redo it. Uh-oh, this isn't going to sit flush with it. Is it? It's going to float. No, uh, maybe not. Get it right here. I need to make it... There we go. That's probably as good as I'm going to get. Okay, let's put it in place. And I'm going to stick it right here. And hopefully I'm going to get it straight. I can try to line it up using the edge of the, the rock of the, uh, the foundation. But it might not be perfect once I finally get it in. <laughs> Just because it's hard to tell. Alright, but I can always redo it. I know, I hate redoing things. Oh man, it's not. Well, actually it is. This has a little lip on the bottom of it that sticks out, but the actual wood is lined up perfectly. The, the siding right here. It's the little lip on the bottom that sticks out, so I actually got it right on. Oh, except it's down too low. When I practiced this before, it wasn't... Hmm, that's odd. Okay. I think I need to fix that, you guys. So, um... Just a second. <laughs> Alright, there. I got it in. Now, it's slightly shorter than the ceiling. So I put it, I decided to put it up high and leave a gap down below and I'm going to fill it then. I already tried it and it worked just now off camera. Let's hope it works again. I just wanted to do it again so I could show you guys. Although I suppose I could show you with the other one, but I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm going to just stick another one in here. And I'm going to stick it, instead of just covering it, I'm going to actually stick it inside here so that it looks like it's part of the original one. I mean, it'll have that double line there, but yeah, who cares, right? It's... it works. There's not a gap anymore. I mean, there's gaps between the boards, but that's okay. <laughs> there's gaps between everything. I just didn't want it to look unfinished, so... Yeah, that... That works. And now I need to make another one for... This part, so... Let's do it. I already have the things sitting out. I actually had to redo that one that I just placed. I had to redo it, like, three times. Oops. I need this. I had to redo it three times before I got it straight, so that's why I cut it out of the video because you guys probably... No. You, pro you guys probably didn't need to see me do it three more times. I feel like I'm going to be losing my daylight here any second, so hopefully I can do this quickly. Okay. Okay. 
That looks good to me. And I think I can pull it forward a little bit too. So that it sits on there better. I'm going to raise it up as high as it can possibly go. I don't want it sticking in down into the wood at all. Because I need the height. Okay. Um, oh, whoops, I gotta raise it up a little bit. Because it's not high enough. Just just a smidgen. Uh, where did I put my ashtray? Did I leave it in the house? Oh, well, here's one right here. <laughs> I got ashtrays all over the place. Hopefully that's not too tall. Too high up, I mean. Well, look how fast it's getting dark. I have um, a darkness mod installed. And I like it. Except there's some things I don't like about it, and that is how fast it gets dark. It changed the speed of which it gets dark and stuff, and it, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I wish it was back to the, the normal way. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep real quick. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> and another thing that that mod... Yeah. not It's not another thing, but as I was saying, that mod makes it so that it gets darker a lot faster than in vanilla game. It also gets lighter out faster in the morning, but <clears throat> what I don't like is how, how fast it gets dark because it doesn't even let you find shelter and stuff first to, to sleep and, and things before it's dark. I mean, and in it gets super dark. And so I really don't like I really don't like that that you can't find shelter. Yeah, and stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to come out here and do it so that I can better see <clears throat> lining it up and stuff. So I I got this one too high. I want the windows to match up in height and they're not. So I need to lower it just a smidgen. Just tweaking here and tweaking there. The name of the game. We could call this Fallout Tweaking. <laughs> okay. No, oh, can't see where I'm going. This glass isn't as transparent as you think. <laughs> facing it the wrong way. This side of the house is in shadow and... Yes. Okay, so... That's good. I'm thinking there might end up being a gap. It depends on how... Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a slight gap. That... Okay, I need to get farther back, but I'm right on the edge here. It's hard to tell if it's the same. So it's still a little too high up, but it might be alright. I mean, nothing is square in this world, is it? It's hard to tell if it's straight, though. because there is definitely a gap between, well, maybe not, between the, the boards, between the wall pieces. I don't know. I'm going to go with this, and it's probably wrong. Oh. Oh, gosh, that's so close. It's it's actually... Oh, it actually isn't bad. Look at that. Look at how it's slightly off. It's very, very, very slightly off, but it really doesn't matter. It's barely noticeable. So I'm going to call it good. <clears throat> and... 
I'm going to get the other one to fill in the bottom. Okay, it's just way back here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one fits just right. If I can get it in without it turning red. Well, <clears throat> let's reposition the ashtray. I think it's too close. Hopefully that's all that's the problem. Uh, knowing me, it's not that simple. It looks like it's not going to be that simple. I might have to have some of the boards sticking through the stone, but that is preferable. Nope. It looks like I won't. It's going to work. Good. Perfect! That one is even better, actually, because the <clears throat> the trim pieces, the little parts sticks out, they're like touching each other, and so it doesn't look as goofy. Alright. Oops, whoa. There we go! Look! Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness, it's nice and light, and airy, and it looks good not having the windows right into the corners. I like that better. <clears throat> now, I, I don't like where the ladder is. Because um, originally the ladder was right here. Now originally the ladder didn't have anywhere else to be. It, it was This was the only place it fit. But I don't like this because then the stairwell is right in the middle of the floor. Oh, and also I can take these off and it can be like a little sort of attic storage space. Yeah. Yeah, a little attic storage space right there. I mean, you can't walk under it, but you can put stuff under it. So I'm going to change the, 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 the position of the stairs. And I think I'm going to put it right here. Against the wall. That way it's out of the way. I have the whole wall to put other things. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And actually, I want to put these facing the same way as the other boards up here. There you go. There. Not that we really need one on this side, but just for consistency's sake. Now, <clears throat> I'm thinking, so I'll make this Sean's bedroom on this side and then Shane's bedroom on this side. Oh, I need to fill this in. I need to fill in the hole. There. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna put a wall here to sort of I mean I can't put like full rooms because you don't we don't have doors with um, peak in the middle <clears throat> we don't have <clears throat> excuse me I need to get a drink real quick okay um, we don't have these barn pieces we don't have the door pieces with a peak in the middle I wish we did that would be cool because then you could Stick the door in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, but we, d we, we don't, so I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna just have to put like a semi-privacy <clears throat> wall on the side with this. And Oh, actually... I need to... Oh, what was clamped to that? I had something clamped to that? What? This is the ceiling? I, 
honestly don't remember hanging something from the ceiling. Hmm. <clears throat> oh well. <laughs> I need to come on. <clears throat> snap that there. Uh, let's move that rug out of the way. <coughs> <coughs> I am sorry, you guys. All this talking is making my voice kind of give out a little bit. So, <clears throat> okay. There we go. So, just like that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can even put one <clears throat> here. I mean, it won't snap in, but I can maybe stick it in here. I don't know if I'll be able to stick it in. No, not all the way. Well, let's see. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I could leave it like that, though. It sticks out a little bit, but I don't know. It's kind of like... Oh my gosh, really? <clears throat> I guess I don't learn from my mistakes. <laughs> oh, let's put the floor back. <laughs> okay. Um, no, that was the right one. Okay. <clears throat> so, this could be Shane's little private storage area <laughs> as opposed to the general storage area. I don't know. Just, <clears throat> just the idea, an idea. Okay, so this will be Shane's side, and that will be Sean's side. Okay, so we'll put a wall here as well. There we go. Just a little privacy wall. Not a real doorway, but what can you do, right? Gotta work with what we have. Actually, let's reposition that rug first. <coughs> I want to fill up the whole floor right there. There. And then this will be Sean's room and he can have his toys and stuff right there and Shane can have his things over here and then they can have mm, a little common area or maybe I can put some desks or something out here um, maybe even get a different rug <laughs> yeah <coughs> alright I like it what do you guys think I like how this has turned out and now I can fill this whole thing up with furniture and a, a kitchen and stuff. I like. Alright, so there. Sounds good, okay. Um, do you guys want to see me decorate this? Maybe I'll make it a separate video. So in case you don't want to watch it, you you don't have to, you know. Yeah, I'll make it a separate video. I will decorate it next time. Anyway, there we go. Shane's new house. Oh, I didn't put a door on it. I will. Oh, look how nice that looks. I, I really like how that turned out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Looks like a real house. Turned out pretty darn nice and for some reason we didn't paint the whole thing red but not that we painted that red it's not brand new paint this actually is one of my favorite buildings I've ever made so <laughs> I really like it okay that's all for this episode everybody if you want to watch the decorating some um, just uh, yeah I'll uh, if it's already made and out, there will be a link in the description below. If not, well, you'll see it soon. Okay? Until next time, everyone, play safe, play nice, have fun. Bye.